Drawing a map on the Pico 8 screen is a really useful way of getting a background, and there are a lot of effects you can do once you've actually mastered how to get a background onto the screen. To start with, remember that the Pico 8 screen, which is a square, runs from 0, 0 at the top to 127, 127 at the bottom. And this is quite important just so that we can remember the size of things that we want to do. If you wanted to draw something here, then you'd have to remember that this point is around about 50, and this point is around about 75, or something like that. The center of the screen here is always 63, 63. So what we'll do next is head to some code and look at how we can put the map onto the screen. So we can see here I've got a very basic function draw running. I've already got the screen to be cleared, but I've got no other code running in it. And to start with, I'm going to need to design some tiles, some sprites that are going to go on our background. And I'm going to be very dull and just draw the usual style RPG sprites. So I'm going to draw a green one, which can have some dots in it, like this. I'm going to draw a brown one using the fill tool. And again, put some exciting little dots in it. I'm going to draw a green one like this. And in this one, I'm going to draw a hyper-realistic tree. I'm hoping that this will be the sort of impressive tree that would make you want to play this game. Here we are, look at that. Maybe a little bit more of a branch. So slightly disappointing. Tell you what, if I make it an apple tree, then things will look a lot better. There we are, this is an apple tree now, folks. That's probably made it worse. We have a tree. And then finally, I'm going to put in, again, some blue, let's go with a lighter blue, and a few flecks of white, which obviously is quite clearly water. So we've got some different tiles, some grass, some pathway, a tree, some water. None of these are world beating, but they're going to show how to do this. We have to come over to this tab here next, which is the map. And in the map, we can draw exactly what we'd like to appear on the screen. If you press the space bar, you can see a grid begin to appear. And the width of this at the moment from this dot over this side to this one here is exactly the width of the Pico 8 screen. And you can see it's divided into these slots where you are going to put some tiles. Running downwards, however, you've only got half a screen, the dot from there to there. But while you've got space pressed, you can move this around. And now we can see there is the bottom of the screen. So I've still got the space bar pressed. I can slide this around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it. I've let go of space bar now. I'm going to use the fill tool and I'm going to fill. And then I'm going to move it by pressing space. And again, I'm going to use the fill tool. So now you can see I've filled up this. Next, I'm going to grab my pathway and I'm going to draw a path. Okay, again, I'm going to move it like this, and I'm going to draw my path down to here, and then maybe oops, let it run off that way and this way. And then I'm also going to put in a little lake down here, which is going to run under to a river, which obviously is going underneath the pathway. There we are. Let's just get that to there, and that's going to come up to another lake, maybe over here the screen up there. And then finally, maybe we'll have a forest over here, which maybe goes the other side of the path as well. So there we have a very basic map. Okay, I've drawn this map. If you want to see it in a little bit more, um, you can zoom in and out using the scroll, um, the mouse wheel, like that. It can be useful to do that if you want. But remember, if you press the space bar, you can scroll around the map quite easily. Now, we have to come back and actually put the code in. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky. Map is not one of those really straightforward and simple commands. Um, you need to do a little bit of research. If you're not programming, if you haven't programmed before, then it's quite important to try and find the information you need. And so one quite good website is the um, Pico 8 Wiki, um, this particular site here. And if you type into um, a search engine, Pico 8 Map, this is one of the first links you'll find. And you can see here it's got map, 
which is the command word. And then it tells you exactly how it works. Now at the beginning you look at these and think, well I've got no idea what cell X is or cell Y or SX, SY and so on. Do I have to type in just those words? Luckily, all you have to do is look down and it explains everything. So cell X is the column location of the map in the upper left corner of the region to draw, where zero is the leftmost column. And this is the row location of the map cell. Okay. So what this means, the first two numbers here relate, if I go back to the code again, to the coordinate of the top left of the map up here. And we can find that coordinate by looking down here. So when I hover over this coordinate, you can see that down here it says 0, 0. Again, you see that. And then down in the bottom corner, we've got 0, 0. So that's the top left of the map. And if we come across, if I press my spacebar again to move it, so there's our 0, 0. Remember, we're looking down here. There's 0, 0. If I come across to the other side, you can see that it's number 15. So this is number 0. Here is 15, 0. And if I scroll to the very bottom of my map, which is going to be there, it's got 15, 15. So if we come back to our instructions we want the column and the row well we know that's zero for the upper left and zero for the upper left here the next bit says sx and sy sx is the x coordinate of the screen to place the upper left corner well we know we want to place this map in the top left corner of our screen and so the top left corner is zero zero and finally cell width and cell height so we're going to have a bit of thinking here. So I've come back to the pencil so we can actually see what's going on. We've decided that the leftmost column of the map is column 0. And we know that the leftmost row, or the topmost row, sorry, of the map is row 0. And we know, because again, if we think about our Pico 8 screen, we know we want to put the map in the top left corner, which is coordinate 0, 0. So we know that the top left coordinate is going to be 0, 0. Finally, this one, the number of cells wide. Well, if you remember, when we looked at the map, if I just flip back to the map very, very quickly, we know that this corner down here, sorry, this, this corner, if I just get it there, this corner here, the bottom left of the map, is registered as 1515. You have to look at it here, and there it is, 1515. Okay? So we know that that's 1515. So if I go back to where I'm um, doodling at the moment, we know that it was 15 wide, but it started counting from 0, because we know that the leftmost location was 0. So 0 to 15 is actually, when we count it across, 16 squares wide. And also, because it's a square screen, 16 squares down. So in order to get map to work, we're going to have to write map 0, 0, 0, 0, 16, 16. Okay, and that's all we're going to need. We don't need to worry about layer for this particular tutorial. So I'm going to go back to the code now. And we're just going to stick that piece of information in to our code here. So all I have to do is select this and I'm going to type map. And we remember it was 0, 0 for the map location, 0, 0 for where we want it on the screen, and 16. 16 to show us the width we want and so if we come into here and we type run there is our map and that's exactly the map that we drew now what we could do is say okay i only want to draw four squares across so four and four so if i run this you can see now we just have the squares in the top left location so this is four squares across so we have one square there, one square there, one square there, and the same going down. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. We could, if we wanted, if I just clear all the drawings off there, come back to our code, and we could say, right, I'm going to draw this somewhere else within the screen. I'm going to draw it 25 pixels in and 50 pixels down. 
but you can see now what's happened now that we've run it that this one has moved 25 squares in and 50 squares down and it's still a 4 by 4 map so now and this bit of course is the top left of the map but we've moved it 50 down and 25 across so this is quite useful because we can start to do things with the map that make it move across the screen and appear a little bit more convincing but for the time being I'm going to leave it that we can have the map drawn in the top left corner of the screen 0 0 and the full width of the screen which is 16 squares by 16 squares and if you use this little bit of code map 0 0 0 0 16 16 and you have a fully drawn map in here I just press my spacebar and scroll through so in other words you're going from white dot to the white dot on here and going down you go two white dots down as well if you've got a full map filled in and you have this little bit of code then the map will be drawn on the screen and things can happen on the top of it happy programming